Outpatient opioid use deserves special consideration because it presents the highest potential risk for drug diversion to humans. The most common outpatient opioids prescribed to veterinary patients are tramadol, buprenorphine, fentanyl patches, and hydrocodone and home atropine. As you may know, tramadol has limited efficacy in canine patients. It does not appear to provide benefits to canines and carries the risk of being abused by pet owners. Considering these risks and the poor efficacy, veterinarians should consider alternative pain management options. In this lecture, we're going to focus on the outpatient opioids that veterinarians prescribe and talk about their risks and benefits. Let's start with buprenorphine. It's a partial mu agonist. In cats, it's well studied, is effective transmucosally, and is good for mild pain. When given transmucosally, it needs to be dosed higher than when using the IV or IM routes. Buprenorphine can also be used in dogs, but it's expensive and has limited transmucosal efficacy due to a different oral pH in the dog. One benefit is the limited human abuse potential because of its unique pharmacology. Since buprenorphine is a partial mu agonist, it only partially activates the receptor, but it has a ceiling effect which means that above a certain dosage, there will not be added effects. So more drug will not give more of a high and won't cause added side effects like respiratory depression either. Also, buprenorphine has a stronger affinity for the opioid receptors in heroin and can knock heroin off the receptor. In fact, buprenorphine is prescribed to opioid addicts to help manage addiction. To sum up, buprenorphine is unlikely to be abused by humans has significant analgesic benefits in cats, and is frequently used in veterinary medicine. The fentanyl transdermal patch was designed for human use and human skin, and may not work as effectively in dogs and cats. Fentanyl is a full mu agonist and a synthetic opioid. The patches adhere to the skin in a slow-release formulation. Fentanyl is 100 times more potent than morphine, is a major contributor to the opioid epidemic, and has a high abuse potential in humans. Veterinarians should weigh the benefits of using a fentanyl patch in dogs and cats with the risk of human abuse potential. Some clinics place an adhesive bandage over the patch and require that the patient return for disposal before prescribing subsequent patches. This may help prevent misuse. Hycodan is a mixture of hydrocodone and home atropine syrup. Hydrocodone is a mu agonist and is metabolized to hydromorphone, which is six times more potent than morphine. It's typically prescribed as a cough suppressant to dogs in large liquid volumes. Homatropine syrup, an anticholinergic, is added as an abuse deterrent. But the drug can still be abused and addicts can still get high off of it. Veterinarians should consider prescribing it in smaller volumes if possible and be vigilant of owners who require more frequent refills than would be expected. Appropriate disposal of these drugs can prevent opioid abuse. Veterinarians should educate their clients about proper disposal of these medications. Local police departments may offer disposal. At-home recommendations for tablets and liquids include removing all identifying information from the vial, putting liquids and syrups in cat litter or dissolving tablets in water, and then putting them in absorbent material like cat litter. For fentanyl patches, the DEA recommends flushing them down the toilet due to the very high abuse potential and the high potency. Make sure the sticky sides touch each other when doing this. As you can see, outpatient opioid medications carry with them some significant abuse potential, and vigilance is essential when prescribing and tracking these medications.